Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us tmasso at the 1916company.com for purchase, pricing, and availability questions regarding this watch. So today we are discussing a great way to feature opulence, wearable size, technical sophistication, and affordability in one uncompromised package. From Omega, this is the Seamaster Aquaterra here you have it in 38 millimeters in Sedna red gold and stainless steel. So 38 is the diameter. It's 12.4 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 45 millimeters, with a 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. It's a perfect match. You can see I've got absolutely no danger of the lugs overlapping the edge of my wrist, even from over the top, which exaggerates the width of a watch. You can see how much clearance I've got on each side. With a low profile, a slanted bezel, it's an easy watch to wear underneath a cuff. I can recommend it for men and for women. It's the lower limit for wearing this. It's probably a wrist size of about 13 and a half centimeters circumference. It's your dress watch. It's your sports watch. It's your all-arounder. The strap features a little integral end link, and you can see it's in rose gold to mate it nicely to the case. There's no daylight showing between strap and case, but you can see from the bottom that properly speaking, it is a conventional 19 millimeter spaced lug layout with a spring bar release. The strap features a crosshatch molded pattern, a stitch that has no functional purpose, but looks nice. And that's the idea. It's a gray, so it's a little bit subdued. It's a nice complement to the dial. The case, steel and gold. The buckle all in steel. And this is a long running Omega piece. You can see a polish and satin twin trigger release so it won't pop open accidentally. We have little retaining lips here. You stick the strap through, you clinch it down, insert the strap, and then once it's in, all the excessive length is hidden underneath the clasp body and the straps. There's no need for minder loops. If you're wondering what minder loops are, these things. The strap doesn't need them. It's a very clean setup and very secure. We have a combination of red gold and steel with the liar style looks. You can see the hall marking of the bezel sitting up at 12 o'clock right in profile. Sedna red gold is gold that has a high copper content and then a very high content of white inert precious metals. So like platinum, palladium, the bezel will not fade or oxidize. It effectively protects the copper in the alloy from fading to rose or pink. So this is truly red gold. We have liar style lugs. We've known them on Omega products since the early 60s. So we have these inward bevels. We have these outward bevels. And then we have a case band that's satinated from end to end. And we have a crown that's slightly recessed with a combination of media blast and polish. And the dial, simple, lateral teak deck motif designed to evoke the deck of a yacht. We have applique blued indices as well as blued hands and applied Omega marquee and logo. We'll take a quick look at the watch in the dark. Take note, not only well loomed, but all three hands loomed. And I always find that to be useful as you know whether your watch is running in low light. We will do a quick wind up here because we want to see the watch in action. So the watch is an automatic winder with ceramic rotor bearings for high efficiency. It's got a 55 hour power reserve and it features both a hacking or stop seconds function and a quick set so you can rapidly cycle the date. Attention to detail here, it's rich. Taking a quick look, you can see that the window for the date is faceted rather than cut sheer through the dial, creating a more gradual step down. And you could see that there is differential finish and faceting to these individual blued indices, as well as a dropped track outboard for reading seconds and minutes with a vintage inspired broad arrow style minute hand. Note the difference between the satin and the polish on the plane of the hands themselves. Turn it all over and you could see we have caliber 8800. This is the same movement used in the diver 300 meter. Note the watch is 100 meters water resistant. is also effectively amagnetic, immune to magnetism. It's also shock resistant thanks to a full balance bridge and a free sprung balance. Single barrel, 55 hour reserve. It's got a quirky beat rate of 25,200 vibrations per hour. It's used pervasively through Swatch Group on watches that feature silicon hairsprings. All this pivots on 35 joules and it has the Daniels tri-level coaxial escapement, which is
is the latest version developed by Omega of George Daniel's double impulse direct and indirect impulse tangential friction escapement. He created the original in 1974, sold it to Omega. It was industrialized and serialized for the first time on Omegas in 1999. And then from the late 2000s forward, the tri-level coaxial, which has one plane for transmission of energy from the drivetrain, and then two planes for impulsing the roller table as well as a lever. It actually works as both a direct and indirect impulse system. So a little bit like a Swiss lever, a little bit like a chronometer style detent escapement. And then the idea here is that you have tangential friction at the impulse rather than the sliding friction you get with a Swiss lever. So it's a lower friction, increases power reserve, improves chronometry, and reduces maintenance requirements. And the watch has been through the full master chronometer certification, which is not just six position testing for chronometry of the entire assembled watch. It meets and exceeds the COSC chronometry standards. It also includes durability, power reserve, winding efficiency, anti-magnetism, and water resistance. So a METAS, or master chronometer, is a more thoroughly evaluated timepiece as you wear the timepiece. Because remember, COSC is five position testing of the movement by itself. This full package. If you love this watch, reach out to Team Also at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.